Hello there, I am Giant Quote, and welcome to my new Let's Play of uh, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the, Nintendo, for the Nintendo Switch. If I were to guess, this is probably my 7th Let's Play. I'll put it on screen right now, because I actually don't know what number Let's Play this is, actually. You know, I should know, but I don't. So let's just start up with, um, just go into my file. Yeah, Steven, of course, I have King Diddy there, as you saw. I may have seen if I clicked, I clicked on it quite fast. My microphone is not cooperating with me, it's not staying still. Hey, hey, hey. And with that, Link has uh, crashed onto shore, and he's now on his island. Interesting. Okay, we can continue on. Press Z and R, okay. Fail. Press L and R. There we go. Tell him, push them together. Press them together. Now, as you can see, I beat the game. This is my uh, my furthest saved point file. If I even said that right. I don't think I said that right. I didn't go after all the hard containers. And so I didn't go after all the pieces of heart, I should say. I did not go after all the secret she shells either. So this is not going to be hundred percent let's play. I'll be, I won't be collecting all the secret she shells, and I won't be collecting all the pieces of heart. There's thirty-two pieces of heart and fifty secret she shells, but I will collect as many as I can. Uh, but if it's like a really difficult one, because some of hard piece, some pieces are hard and, and secret she shells are hard to get because you have to do crazy things and. It's not my cup of tea, really, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be skipping on those, so just fair warning. So let's actually go to uh, well, I guess I can delete both these files here. Let me see. Let's go down to delete. Hold X, plus that one on. for three seconds. Okay. There we go, okay. And let's delete this file too. That's all we want. Okay, let's go to file one. I'm gonna play normal difficulty. I'm not really good at this game, so human mode's not gonna be a thing for me. Take uh, take twice as much damage and have no hard drops for advanced players. I'm just gonna go with normal then. The classic difficulty level. That's what I want. And enter your name. Let's yeah. Let's just do wink. Wink's fine. I want to name my file wink. Okie dokie. Oh, wink's having like a nightmare or something. Jeez, poor guy. Marion says, "What a relief." I thought you'd never wake up and you were tossing, turning. What, Zelda? No, my name's Marion. You just must still be feeling a little bit woozy. Uh, so you are on Cold Island. Okay. So, I have this list of objectives I wrote down in my notes. Yeah. Let's see. Talk to people. Including... 
Couldn't you die on the phone? Okay, of course. It sucks to Taryn here. Yeah, this guy's ter named Taryn. Well, Wink, you finally snapped out of it. My na name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. Stuff like that. I cook too fast. Darn it. Well, okay, what? Uh, what? How, how did I know your name? Well, it's you think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it in the back of this shield. Yeah. You got the shield back called R to repel enemies with it. Cool. Keep that in mind. So press R like I'm doing. I'm using the Switch Pro controller, by the way, as my controller. You can, uh, no, you can, uh, you pull out your shield and, uh, defend, defend yourself, basically. This is what the shield does, it's, you know, shield defends yourself, of course, you, you know that. If you have a, a good sense of adventure games and whatnot. Plus, it's kind of common sense, but in case you don't know, there you go. Yeah, shields can protect you, and it's very handy sometimes, too. Oof, this looks heavy, heavier than heavy. <laughs> okay, your current strength won't cut it. Okay, we can't get those yet, but eventually we might. So if we exit the house and we talk to people, let's talk to some people. That sounds like a good plan. We're in Mobby Village now. Awesome. Let's start by talking to this elder. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? She's sweeping up. She's sweeping in the grass. Interesting. Here's a chain chomp, by the way. We'll get to that in a second, actually. Maybe in the next part or so, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to lay back and relax this first part. Not do, not do anything too serious. Here's a fox, by the way. Right here's a shop, which we'll get to later again. I don't have a sword, so I can't cut this grass yet, so that stinks. Let's just talk to our dad. We talked to our dad on the phone, just like we do in Earthbound. Isn't that just great? Let's talk to our dad. Bring, bring, hell, it's you. It's you. Mean, okay, yeah. He asked me anything about that, and you can get lost. Give me a call. It's a, you know, there's a library in the village that might have good information for you. Talk to your waiter quick. So I don't think that was your dad exactly, but it was someone else. Eventually, you'll just talk to your dad on that f some kind of phone and whatnot. So, wait, I want to talk to the Santa looking person in this house real quick. Because that would be great. Here he is. Uh, hmm, how to say, please call outside. Okay, um, please call outside. It seems like the old man, you really is a shy guy in person. I can't pronounce his name, jeez. Here's the pause menu, by the way. We're gonna get a fair amount of items for our adventure. And right here we have a shield and a green tunic. Yeah, green tunic, yeah. Shield. The little heart that you see right there is for heart pieces, or, or pieces of heart, I should say. I always try to call it pieces of hearts. And then uh, this is your save and load a screen. Very helpful when you want to save and whatnot. Then you get the map. Which we only have this much covered so far, but this is gonna be a big map we're gonna explore. This whole island's just so big. And this is the map for it right here that we're viewing. And that's really it for now, okay. Oh yeah, it also has your also has your rupee count and your X and Y buttons for your X and Y items. We'll get to that later. So yeah, we have no rupees right now, which kinda stinks, but we'll get them eventually. I promise. So let's go visit the library. Let's talk to these guys first. See, I heard that you can press minus to look at the on the map. Not only that, can you stick pins on with A and remember with stuff with X. I think that's what it said, but I don't under understand what they mean by that. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that you're running out of. If you when you're running out of heart, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Okay, whatever. Here's the library. I'm gonna show off all these books real quick, hopefully. Alice to Cohen Line, you can look at the map, the name of the place. Do you wanna look up at the map? Look, let's take a look see. All those places on the map, awesome. Pause now if you wanna see all of it. All these places we're gonna explore, that's interesting. Let's see, uh, Dark Secrets of the Mysterious Cohen, do you wanna read it? Yeah, sure. 
guess what was what was this? You can't you can't read the tiny print without the aid of magnifying lens. But where would you get one of those? Maybe if you tend when people say hand, they'll lend you a lens. Yeah, we'll get to that later. How to handle your shield like a pro? How to read this book? Sure. If you hold R and you invent yourself for enemy attacks, you can push enemies too. Besides the standard shield, there is also a mirrored variety that can reflect beams. We'll get to that later. Secrets of, secrets of the Willing Blade. Read the book? Okay, yeah. Okay, the Willing Blade is a technique that has handed down from generation to generation about the family of the, of the hero. To use it, you hold down the beam button and build up your power. You can have enough. When you have enough, you can release it. Can you miss, master this? Hopefully, I can. There's a book on the top shelf that which you can't get yet. That kind of stinks. Uh, maps and memories guidebook. Read this book. Yes, okay, let's read it. Uh, you can see the album by pressing the minus button. Zoom in and out with or out with um, the R. Okay, the. F the rough parts of the map are a place you haven't visited yet. If there's a place you want to visit to remember for later, you can press A to mark with the pin. Press X to look back at your adventure for visiting memories of things you learned, of conversations you had. Ah, uh, how convenient. Okay. Selecting the item that was right for you. Yes, just read this book. A sub screen you can get to with with uh, plus is very useful. You can select your favorite items for the X and Y buttons there. Cool. Try to many, try many different things you find what's right for you. And here we go, let's just the last book real quick. Fun with bombs. See the book? Okay, yeah. After you put a bomb down you can pick it up and press pressing A again. You can then throw the pushing throw it by pushing A one more time. Did you know that? Yeah, I did actually. And we can't quite get this book on the top of the shelf right here, which she thinks this is a bookshelf. What, you can see that? Okay. Wait, what'd you say? It's a bookshelf. What, you could see that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if we press minus, we can see the map. Is what they said. Yeah, we already watched. We already uh, showed the full map for now, so I don't have to cover that. So let's get on the beach. I think it's about time we get a sword back, because we gotta have a sword with a link, of course. And I totally failed there. That octoroc choice got me. You can only I, uh, I think I don't even think you can repel their rocks, whatever they throw at you, or spit at you, or whatever. Yeah, you can't really do that. Let me try again real quick. Fail. Come on. Yeah, they don't, they don't fuck back to you. Back to them, I should say. I just came in with these sea urchins. I think they're just... I, call, I used to call them sea urchins, but they're also from uh, Kirby, I believe, too. So that's cool. So just move these out of the way, because we need to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose so much health here if I don't be careful. <laughs> Jeez. Now, um, out of all the Nintendo games, really... Between Mario, well, I guess Mario, I guess you could say Pokemon. I mean, we're about all the other games, so just keep that in mind. Don't expect anything fancy. But here we got a sword, awesome. And this owl comes and talks to you, how nice. His name is Owl. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Yeah, nice. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act up so violently. To act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. Okay, I'm back. My microphone. I'm just having microphone troubles this part. Yeah, it's the first part, I think, in like all my projects. for If it's a walk to guard or let's play. The first part's kind of always shaky and I do apologize for that. But anyway, that always keeps on saying. It is said that you cannot leave the island until unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. Okay. How nice. But with him, 
going off and telling us that great about a bit of advice. We can take this sword and it's ours because we have our name engraved in on it. Yeah, you found your sword. It must be yours because there's your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack my any enemies in your path. Yeah, spin attack, awesome. I can just spin attack right off the bat, awesome. Just hold down, just hold down B, hold down B, and when it goes like that, it chimes. Just release, just, just take your finger or thumb off the B button, you can do a little spin attack. How neat is that? Yeah. Okay, so let's go over here first, I guess, just because I'm gonna show move the beach, I guess. I can just. I might. Uh, uh, sure, I don't even know. Thank you for dropping heart. Yeah, I'm only three hearts right now, and uh, I almost died there. And I don't want that to happen in the first part. <laughs> Please don't let that happen. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I don't think you wanna go over there anyway. Now we want to go back up to. Uh, the library which we're just at, and then we got a sword, so let's just do that. Every fail. Oh, that was even in line with the rocket, sh the dock rock spit at us. But that's fine with me, it didn't hit me, so that's good. So we have two and a half hearts out three, that's pretty good. For right now. Now I'm up to full health again. And when you have full health, you don't have sword lasers yet. This guy comes later in the game, like. A fair amount later in the game, honestly, it takes a while for steed so with lasers. But keep in mind of their existence, because that's important. Even though we have perfect health, we can't, uh, we can't have sword lasers, uh, come out of our swords, which kind of stinks. If we have perfect health. Which is a bummer if you think about it. So you chop down those trees with the peach, the two patch, patches of grass, and fall in as well. It won't hurt you, but he has a piece of heart. So first piece of heart of the game. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, 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 use the plus button to see a piece of heart. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, well, be first piece of heart is right there. Awesome, you can see it right there. Nice. Okay, let's go back up the steps. So now we made it to the fierce, mysterious forest almost, but it's up here a little bit further. Okay, so let's continue on. And here's the owl. Yeah, hoot, how brave a lad, on your quest to wake the windfish, the, wake the dreamer, I should say. Welcome to the mysterious forest, much of a mystery you find on this uncharted coin island. I'm afraid you might, you might find it a tiffle difficult to leave that one while the windfish naps. But by the by, how have, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? No, but not yet. Go there. When the, the key you find in the, in this forest, the one fish is waiting. Hoot! Because the first thing I want to get is actually a toadstool. Which we'll get to that in a second, actually. Well, not exactly literally a second, but we'll get to it. So here's a mob one. You should take him out. Oh, I should use my shield there. Jeez. Yeah, it takes two hits right now. But later on, I might take one. Or I don't know. I don't want to spoil it exactly, so I'll just leave it at that, even though I kind of gave it away in some sense. I think if we go in this little log, it'll, it'll do us good because we'll, we'll end up at a different place. Yeah, okay, let's kill this keys. Yeah, it would be awesome. We have two rupees now. I missed this game the first week apparently. So if we want to push this out of the way, we can open this chest. We get a 50 rupees, a purple would be awesome. How nice is that? Let's just continue on, I'll spare that keys. These are little, I call them gels I guess, I don't think they're called gels, but I call them gels. We can't get that piece of heart over there, because those skulls are too heavy to move. In fact, I'll show it. If I can, I uh, have to reset the puzzle now, jeez. This is a big puzzle, but we'll get through it. Yeah, see these, uh, these, pu these skulls are too heavy to lift. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. 
Yes, we'll get to that later too. So much to get to. Like if you think about it, it's just so much to get to. Look at the mob with the shield. Look at it. Like, uh, hit the ram with the shield and then make him stun with their uh, novice shield in front of him. Exactly. Here's another movie we got. Fifty-four movie is now awesome. Let's take this toadstool. Yeah, you pick the toadstool as it holds it as you hold it in over your head. Ammo or more foes in the nostrils. Into your nostrils. That's kind of bittersweet, I guess you could say. Okay, we got this. Ah, dang it! Dang it! I'm losing that mob one. We can't exactly go over there yet. Dang it! I guess we have to go back. Go back the other way or something. Kinda of stinks if you think about it. Oh well. We made it out. I used the puzzle and we got out of there. Nice. Let's just take these jaws out. And there's keys, of course. Interesting. I would be falling the pit, shoot. That's unfortunate. Here's another mob one. Shield, okay, there we go, awesome. And then gives us a heart, awesome. There we go. Let's get the would be. Okay, another would be awesome. We're up to 57 rupees now. I think this is a fairy up here. Yep. Still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you have fully. Uh, we'll get that again. Yeah, still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. Okay. If we cut down this grass with a shield, we can get more rubies. Let's even do that real quick just because. We got the blue rupees are worth five rupees. That's awesome. The green rupees are worth one. Now you know. I'm trying to find a witch. I know. I'm trying to find a witch. She can help us with what we need. Because if we take the toadstool to her, she'll make us some magic powder. And that's always good, right? We can't get that piece of heart because we can't jump over the little poles. Let's just up on me. I don't mess with that, that guy right there because he can shock us and do heavy damage on us. If we're not careful. But speaking of the witch's place, here's the witch's place. How neat is that? Yeah. Let's talk to her. Ah, uh, if it has a sleepy dot stool, it does. Well, we'll mix it up in a jiffy. Yes, we will. We will. Something like that. Yeah, she's spinning it, and then boom, there it is. It's like fast food. It's just that fast. That's all it takes. It's already. Uh, is it is take care of as there's not much there. Why not try it in my hut? Yeah, you got some magic power to open this subscreen with plus and see it to an either X and set it to either X or Y. Okay, so if we make it an X item, I guess. Epic fail. There we go. Nice. Get your enemies and see what happens. Yeah. If you run out, go to the forest. Pick some toadstools and I'll make you a bit more. Come back with that toadstool and you'll have to pay me a price for my, for my left shoulders. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do just that. We can't lift this boulder yet. Oh, this looks pretty if you want to build it. Lift it with just your bare hands. Okay, so if we use the powder on this guy right here, he turns all like, st it's like he's having a staring contest. It's like he's trying to win a staring contest, but a contact lens in. I think in the Link 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 so I can DX the like the German version and the American version and I think the French version if they had the French version too. Um, it was that thing would have a different dialogue that. You, I have to use the magic powder on it. It's kind of weird how that worked, but uh, it said some weird stuff. 
I might put it on screen if I can find it. Just to get a just to get, a, get an idea of what they meant or what it said. Okay, now I'm trying to find a, a raccoon somewhere. Hopefully I can find the raccoon, that'd be nice. Oh, there's a raccoon. Let's use the magic powder on it because we can. That'd be good. There we go. It just it right in, it blasts it right in their face. Its face. And it spins around like a Beyblade. Oh man, it's Terran. What is he doing in the Mr. Forest? And I just up as a raccoon. Jeez. Okay, the last thing I can remember was brought into a big juicy toadstool then I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon yeah something strange but it sure was fun okay so if you were here before the raccoon would play tricks on you and you'd loop around and not, not make any progress but luckily we were able to get the magic powder in and avoid that and uh, Terran's fine now but he was a raccoon Anyway, here, open this chest. Open this chest, not the left try to lift the tall grass, or whatever. Yeah, we got the tail key. You got the tail key. Naki, you can open the tail key gate. T tail cave gate. There we go. Okay, this says, Hoot, uh, take the key and go to the tail cave. Uh, retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. One fish is waiting, hoot. I should have been along, hoot. Because there's more O's than just two. Two O's and hoot. It's like three or four, I think. So more hoot. Hoot. Now I can, like, get out of the mysterious forest for now. Because we don't really need to be in here any longer, really. Let's just uh, take out this enemy, Moblin. Oh, here's a piece of power. It'll double your power in your sword. Uh, instead of it taking... Uh, two hits to to uh, defeat a moblin in this forest. It'll take just one hit from your sword because you have to piece of power. It's only for a limited time, but it's really helpful. See that moblin just got defeated after one hit from my sword. So it's actually a really helpful item, even though it's only temporary. But uh, it's good to have for now. And I'm pretty sure these two tall patches of grass have uh, always always have heart in them, so you can always count on them to have a heart to help heal you up if you're down to low HP or low, low, low heart count. And I always let missing half heart there, so I didn't need all three, but you know, just in case. So yeah, I think we finished. Uh, you know, we did a lot in this part. Someone in the part right here. This has been my. my Legends of the Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch Let's Play part. And the next part we'll take on, the, uh, maybe go to the Tail Cave, it seems like. Because we have the Tail Key now. I don't know, what we'll to see. So yeah, that's Vendranko again. I would like to thank for checking you. Bye. And I'll see you guys next part my The Legends of the Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch Let's Play.